completed our layout or layouts, there are three layouts out of the three blueprints. So this layout from 0 to 220, the second layout from 220 to 440, and then from 442 to the end. However, in some layouts, there are some profiles that are usually too steep for you to see the entire profile. As you can see, in this profile, you cannot see where it began, you can only see where it ends. In this blue profile, you, can only, you cannot see where it starts, but you can see where it ends. So here on the plan, you can see the road corridor, but on the profile, you are not able to see where it starts. So how can you do this? How can you see the entire thing? The different views, you can lessen the size of this uh, viewport so that you see more. Another way of doing it is splitting this properly, and that's what we'll do in this video. So we go back to the model space. At the model space, we pick the profile of interest. This is the profile of interest. We go back to the layout. This is the same profile. So I'll go back to model. I pick the profile. I right click on the profile and I go to the profile view properties. This profile view properties window pops out and I can go to the elevations band. At the elevations band, you can see there's an option down there for splitting a profile view. And you can split it in two ways. You can either split it automatically or manually. So if we split it automatically, there are some settings that we can set. Uh, we split it at exact stations or previous level grid or previous main grid. We can select that. Or the, the, the data I'm running can be an exact elevation. See this, these elevations on the profile. It can be an exact elevation or a previous level grid or a previous main grid. That's the automatic option. Uh, this is not what we are going to select for this exercise. We will select the manual. I prefer this manual option because I have full control of how I'm going to split my proper. So let's use the manual option. I will add a split. So I add a split and I'm prompted to select the station where I want to split. I want it to split at the uh, at 100, let's do it at 100. And then we are prompted to specify the elevation at which uh, we want to select our datums. So for the right side, we'll have a datum. For example, you can see here, we can set our datum to 390. And then for this other side, since we want to see much more of what is above here we can set it at a higher at a higher position so it doesn't matter where i select it now i can also type in those two terms immediately we split our profile so let me just click on a position here and then we see see the adjusted data for the left we said we want a data that is quite high so let me pick 396 for the datum here. The datum is the lowest level of the of the profile. For example, this is the datum for, for this profile, 388. As you can see, it's even specified here, 388. So I'll adjust the datum to 396. And then for the right side from 100 to, to, to the end, I will adjust that to 391. So let's apply and see what happens. There we go. We have our profiles splitted. So let's go back to our layout to see how they appear. So this is how it appears. Um, still, we cannot see some portions of the profile. Let's go back to model. If you notice something, and the, the profile view style changed, and I want to change it back to what it was. So profile view properties. As you can see here at the profile view style, the profile view style is changed. So I'll click there 
and select the one that we have chosen. Okay, I'm gonna change this one as well. Okay, and apply. Let's see. So that's how they look like for now. Let's go back to the layout to see where they fit. There you go. The layout's now fit. And you may want to see the data band all the way to the, to the lower end. So how do we do that? We can double click in the viewport and raise uh, the profile. But this viewport is has lots. So what we want to do right now is to unlock the viewport. So I'll click on the viewport. Uh, click on Control One to go to the viewport properties. And then down there, you can see under the properties, display lock set to yes. So I want to set to no. And now we can edit what is within the viewport. So if I double click in the viewport again, I can now move this up. And double click again outside. And now it fits. It fits very well within the within the viewport. And now we can see the entire plan, and we can see the entire um, profile. So this profile starts up there, uh, close to four or six, then goes downwards. And then there's a split here, which shows us uh, the elevation at the middle. So the same elevation that is on this side uh, is the same elevation here. You can see there's a 400 here, and there's a 400 here. So these two spots are the same elevation, it's only that we have a speed. And then it goes all the way. So that's how to fine tune your profile so that you see everything that is within the profile.